scared. Hello everyone, and welcome to Spellbound Caves, Vex's Complete the Monument Map. The, um, the, this map, I thought I'd do a little recap on it. This map, is, I've been playing in Bedrock Edition, of course. This map originally was released uh, in 1.2.5 in Java Edition. So, it's a pretty old map. <laughs> it goes way back when. Um, it was before the combat update in Java Edition and any of that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it used to be back in 1.2.5. It used to be um, 50 levels to enchant an item. You didn't need lapis, so it was kind of crazy. A lot different than it is today. I used the Universal Converter to convert the Java map over to a Bedrock Edition map so I could play it and record it because I can't record on Java. I can barely play Java actually on this computer. So I converted it over to Java and I thought it'd be a fun map to play and it has been a fun map to play. It's been really, really a lot of fun to play. This is about probably the only VIX map that I'm going to be able to convert over though because anything after this map, he started using custom spawners because they they introduced uh, custom spawners into the game 
I forget when that is, but, uh, you know, it took a while for him to make these maps. These, they're quite big, obviously. You've got all these wool to get, and, you know, it has to be not only designed and and made, but you have to play test it and balance it, so it takes a while. And the maps after this one all were during the time when they introduced custom spawners where you could create a, a custom spawner that would generate, you know, let's say a stacked entity, you know, a like a spider jockey, you know, a spider with a skeleton on top. You could stack, you know, you could have a skeleton sitting on top of a, a Enderman or sitting on top of a, a creeper or something like that, you know. So, and you could stack stack them upon stack them. It was kind of crazy. There was some crazy maps that came out when that happened. And there's all kinds of crazy looking monsters that people were doing. Yeah, it, thankfully that little <laughs> little spat was short-lived and uh, so we didn't have to uh, put up with that too, for too long. Thank goodness. It was kind of stupid. But you know, it was a new thing. Everybody was playing with it and stuff. And then it kind of went back to normal, you know, normally how you do it and there were still custom spawners and stuff but it was different in the sense that the monsters were much more normal after that there are still some stacked ones but uh generally speaking you know like spider jockeys and that kind of stuff they were the kind of stuff you expect not not the crazy stuff that you know where you had 25 monsters stacked on top of each other they had i mean literally they had stuff like that going on it was crazy but anyways uh the custom spawners won't work in Bedrock Edition, obviously. Java and Bedrock Edition are not anywhere close to being in parity right now. The version numbers are the same, and they're implementing a lot of the the, the landscape changes and the mob changes and whatnot in Bedrock Edition that are in Java Edition. So that's fairly close. But the rest of it, no. The, the redstone in, in Bedrock is absolutely terrible it's just, it's not even anywhere close to what java where java is at so they've got a long ways to go to get parity between the two platforms but they're working on it you know this is a new platform uh, bedrock start, they started bedrock from scratch it's written in c plus plus whereas, whereas java dishes is written in java obviously uh so yeah they started this from scratch and they're and it look how long java edition has been around to reach the maturity that it is now and bedrock hasn't been around nearly as long so you know i mean we got to give them a chance to catch things up and they're doing everything right because they're implementing uh you know the the all the data files and all that stuff through json files and I mean, you can do a lot of modification to Bedrock now that you couldn't do just a little while ago. And the same with Java as well. And Bedrock was actually a little ahead of Java in that respect as far as modifications are concerned. Uh, so, you know, the the future of Minecraft is going to be very, very much different than it is today. Minecraft is, is not only is it a game, but it's becoming a game platform where you can create your own game using the uh, scripting and the data files and you know all of the stuff that they're putting into the into minecraft it's more than just a game it's a game platform you could actually create your own type of game or your own game in minecraft so uh it's really very very promising so this will be the last vex map that i'm unfortunately able to do i tried to do lithomir but the wolves weren't there they were just they were missing and that's the problem as you can see I'm missing two of the wolves here uh, the pink wool was missing and the brown wool were missing and I think both of those were in secondary dungeons so there's nothing I can do about that it's just that when it when it converts over for some reason there's a little glitch in the process and and on Lethemir, uh none of the I won't say none of them. Some of them were there, but but a, many of them weren't. And the same thing with um, what's the lava one, uh, where you're in a sea of lava, sea of flames. The same thing with sea of flames. None of the wolves were in that one actually when I converted it over. So, yeah. So this one worked pretty well. I'm only missing two of the wolves, but we got to the. I mean, the point is right to get to the wool wool containers, the wool rooms, and we did that. We just don't have the you know the 
the trophy to show for it, but it, but at least we did it. So, you know, I mean, we, we did complete the map and we did complete the monument. So I'm really happy with the way this uh, playthrough went through. Uh, turned out I think I died twice, maybe, if I'm remembering right. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's been twice if you've watched the series. A uh, lot of fun. Just, you know, Vex maps are fun anyways. I wish I could play more of them. I wish I could uh, play some of the newer ones that he did, but they just won't work because he because he used custom spawners and everything after this, and uh, any custom spawner will just will won't work. It just won't produce anything. So you'll have a map with no monsters in it, <laughs> which isn't any fun at all, right? So I, if you've watched the series, I appreciate it. This is it, last one. We did it, and uh, I'm real happy with how it turned out. So thank you for watching. Appreciate it, and I don't know. If there's any any Bedrock Edition CTM maps that you know about that I don't, uh, let me know. And uh, yeah, well, I'll give them a shot. I played the one that was in the marketplace, and it was really good. I haven't quite quote-unquote finished it. I kind of cheesed the very last wall, and I haven't really finished it. And I, Honestly, I don't think I will. Um, it was okay, but I, I got, I don't know, that the the, it didn't have the, I mean, it was a fun map to play, and it's on the channel as well. But it didn't have the resonance with me that some of these older maps have. And it just may be because, you know, different time. I'm not sure. But uh, I probably won't finish that one. I mean, I got all the wolves out of there. And it, was a, it was a smaller map, a small. There was four, I think, wolves, four or five wolves in that. And I got them all. I just kind of cheesed that little last little thing because basically it was uh it was getting a little tedious yeah the, the the level design was good up until that kind of last little section and then it i don't know it just got a little tedious to me but uh so i'm probably not going to finish that one quote unquote finish that one uh where um you know get rid of all the monsters and kill all the spawners and stuff and you know i i don't feel like i have to do that the main point of a complete the monument is to complete the monument it, it isn't necessarily to clear everything out of the out of this the um the dungeons and you know some of that stuff i just skip over because you don't need to mess with it you know the point is to get the wool so i appreciate you watching um if you haven't seen all of them they're all on the channel there that's they're in their own playlist take take a look at them Unfortunately, the quality isn't that great, and, and the quality isn't going to be that great on my videos, unfortunately, because of the fact that I'm on still on my little Acer. I got some new recording software that I'm trying, though, and hopefully, maybe it'll be a little better. I don't know. It's still not going to be very good quality, though, so just keep that in mind. Uh, unfortunately, uh, some of the videos, audio got desynced when I uploaded them to YouTube. I think YouTube dropped some frames on me. And whenever YouTube drops frames like that, um, in the processing, it desyncs the video. And I think that's what happened. And it could possibly be just from the fact that this com my computer uh, is a very potato computer. And it doesn't handle entities very well. So when you get a lot of entities, like the Silverfish Apocalypse, oh my goodness, I was getting like one frame every five minutes. I mean, it was terrible. It just doesn't handle entities very well in, in Minecraft. So that's just one of the weak areas. It's one of the weak areas in Minecraft, to be honest. You get a lot of entities, and you just get you get lag in Minecraft. So it's not necessarily the computer per se, but the computer not having a, a very good processor. It's just a little Acer computer. It was my backup computer when my, my gaming computer died on me. And unfortunately, I can't get a gaming computer right now because I, I just can't afford it. There's too many other things I need to, to deal with right now. So I'm mean, I'm stuck with the Acer. So the quality is not going to be great, but hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully it's not un, unwatchable. If it is, I apologize, you know. But I'm trying my best, but uh, I'm just doing this for fun anyways. It's just as a hobby. I'm retired and I have time to do it. And I've always liked working on these videos, so I thought I'd do it. So this will be the this will be it as far as Vex is concerned. I've got some other CTMs, uh, a couple by BRAN that I want to do, uh, but I'm going to take a break. I've got a single player world that I'm going to, that I've already started and I'm going to continue working on. I'm going to do that for a while. And then 
come back to do some CTM after that. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, look through the series if you're interested in it. It's been a fun ride. Uh, we did it. We completed the monument. And so I'm real happy about it. I'm very satisfied with the way this turned out. So appreciate it. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye now.